What's up everyone? Welcome back. Thank you for stopping in. If you are new here, welcome. Consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you've been here before and you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because you're back again. And hit the bell when you do. That will notify you of when I upload a new video. And before you guys head out, if you would, give the video a thumbs up. That helps get the video circulated through the YouTubes. And if you have time, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Any comment, question, concern, criticism, leave it down below. I love interacting with you guys. Uh, today, we have an unboxing to do. This comes from Blue Creek. Brian over at Blue Creek. Now I've had this for a few days. It's pretty big. And I already have my camera all set up. So I'm not going to raise it. But uh, I've had this for a few days. I actually ordered this the day that it came out. But... <clears throat> Um, I've been doing some lives, and, uh, I've been pretty busy with work, and also I've been trying to get some things within the channel situated. Um, YouTube does not like when you do not fill in, like, description boxes and hashtag boxes and all that shit and I was never really planning on doing that I guess I mean I kind of knew it went along with everything but uh I wasn't really planning on doing that until people started getting a hold of me and asking me if I could put like the names of the knives or pens or flashlights and then the website where I got them and stuff. So I guess that, you know, that explains why, you know, the links and whatnot. I didn't really think about it in that sense because I'm not, <clears throat> I typically don't even, I guess I'm a different viewer in a sense, but I don't typically look at, the uh drop down box um so i guess it never really dawned on me you know but it does help people you know find what you are showing so i will be posting i'm gonna do the best i can um i'm gonna put descriptions in there i'm gonna put links to where i got the stuff um i obviously do not have coupon codes and whatnot like that but i will post links of where i got it and then uh, maybe if i get really good i can direct you on who has a link um so this comes from blue creek like i said I'm getting ahead of myself or behind, but Brian is awesome. Um, if you've been here before, you already probably know who he is, and if you don't, then you need to hang around and head over to Blue Creek Knives. Um, this is your standard swag bag. Um, now I've placed quite a few orders through there. Um, but he always sends some stickers. He always sends some sort of deck of cards. Now, I I want these ones, and he sent me these a couple of times. I've seen other people get other ones, but uh, I really like these ones. And then he always sends some candy. So anytime you buy anything from there, you're going to get a, a baggie full of swag. So thank you, Brian. Uh, I appreciate it, man, and, uh, 
go on over there if you're looking for a knife or some sort of gear edc gear head on over there brian's an awesome dude and it's good to help out small private businesses american businesses with americans working in them so we have a qsp box and some qsp stickers that's a different one i haven't seen that one so i bought this i was kind of upset with myself um because as soon as i saw this i knew i wanted it but little did i know there was going to be a titanium version uh which i still might get uh I hate buying two of the same knife anymore, though. I've done it many times. Uh, but I try not to do that so much anymore, even if it is different. I just, for some reason, I'm trying to stay away from doing that. I have made an exception for any type of nimble, obviously. Um, so we have the QSP Hedgehog. I got the green micarta. Uh, it comes in 14C 28N for the blade steel. It's got this um, pretty cool texture. It's like a almost like a wave type pattern with two milling spots. Um, if you look at this and then you look at this they're very similar um that is from traditional pocket knives that is the ohio river jack and i love this knife um it was brought to my attention that the handle to some people is too blocky i guess but I don't know, this actually makes me, you know, slip joints tend to be, <clears throat> they almost feel rinky-dink, almost, a lot of times. Um, this makes me feel like I'm grabbing a knife, you know what I mean? Something I can really, really use, um, and it fits my hand perfect, uh, so I don't. I don't agree with that whole notion. Um, I am going to be getting a Jack Wolf soon to try them out, but uh, I can't imagine it, imagine it being that much better than the Ohio River Jack there. Um, maybe some like slight nuances, of, you know, some variations of stuff but i'm gonna be getting one and i'm gonna be trying but this is this is by far now the jack wolf knives might be a touch better you know what i mean there can always be better but how much better is it really gonna be than this this is in titanium and M390 through QSP, who does M390, you know, all day long. So the heat treat's going to be good. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out how much better it really is. Uh, now, the reason there's a price difference, though, is because Ben has to sell his out to retailers. Whereas the Ohio River Jack is directly got from QSP and shipped from his store. So that helps cut some expenses back. But still, alright. Ooh. So the Hedgehog is a sheep's foot blade. I really love how it has this little tip. Like, it just flares out. Instead of coming, like, at a steeper angle, it actually is steep, 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 and then it starts to roll back out. 
so that allows you to actually have a little point there which is why I really like this knife um, and I also like how it has this little swell at the top and the bottom of the handle um, I was hoping it would be really comfortable and it seems like it is going to be See, that's another reason, like, I haven't been into slip joints long, and I don't know really anything about them. That's one reason why I'm questioning the Jack Wolf knives. I mean, I have tons and tons of knives, and I've experienced tons of knives. Um, and that Ohio River Jack from QSP is phenomenal. So, when someone says... Yeah, it's phenomenal, but the, uh, the Jack Wolf is better. Um, or the Titanium QSP Hedgehog is better. How much better is the question? Is it just a little bit better, or is it way better? Because uh, I'm just trying to figure that scale out when it comes to one of the three Ohio River Jacks, pick one, and then whichever Jack Wolf knife, um, or this knife, uh, for that matter, because I've heard from a couple people that this knife in the titanium is also better than the Ohio River Jack, so I'm still, uh, perplexed on that. I'd say... Well, I can tell you what it really feels like. It almost feels... That's just a touch. The Ohio River Jack definitely has... I almost cut the tip of my finger off there. Damn it. Yeah, the Ohio River Jack definitely has a uh, slightly stronger spring on the first, uh, whoop, I just cut my finger, so give me one second to, uh, the, uh, one of them two just cut the shit out of me. Come on. Right in the middle of the video, too. Oh, well, sometimes we must... The only problem is it's going to make shit messy, maybe. Just bear with me for one second. I'm going to kind of... It took a nice chunk out of my finger. For sure. I was lollygagging getting my finger out of the way and I on the clothes and I didn't get it out of the way in time. Uh. And it's bleeding pretty good. Um I don't want to get blood all over that shit. Well, I guess I'm going to be... Lefty vision today. Um, so, we're done talking about the Ohio River Jack, unless it comes to, like, a straight-up comparison. Um, the, the spring is just a touch... See, it's a little stronger right there than... Well... No, they're very... Look, look, look. There's my finger. There's my finger. Or a piece of it, I mean. That's like the side tip of my finger. My fingers and hands are so messed up, though. From work. Um, they're, like, permanently stained and uh, cut.
cut up and the whole nine yards uh i've been doing carpentry for like 10 years so they're all messed up pretty bad uh so i got this for i forget what i paid look there's some blood on the knife still um Don't get blood on the knife, dude. Come on. We will power through. <laughs> um, so you have a 14C 28M blade. Sheep's foot. A nice um, long pole. Pretty damn close anyway. I guess that's where that comes from. Uh, it's got a nice long pole there um i really do like that uh and this is very similar i'll show you now i only have whoops i only have a couple slip joints now what you see with the bear it's just got this very short pole um so I kind of like it to be like this or like that. Uh, the same is true with case. Theirs are typically, at least on the ones I've seen, are small. And then here is the worker, I guess it's called, from uh, Rough Rider. That one has a small pole as well. Um... You have pretty nice micarta. It's a little smooth for my, like, for it to be um, categorized in my favorite. Like, I like fuzzy, like a smooth, but a fuzzy. Um, and the growler nails that. It's the closest one to me. Uh, the growler is really good. Another one that I really like and I mean really like, is this Axial Alpine Fixed Blade Micarta. This knife is slowly becoming, or quickly becoming, uh, my favorite fixed blade, uh, as concerns something you could carry every day. Uh, um, so for 65 bucks, guys, there's not many left. Over at Axial, I was just looking. They have like one left of the one. The one's completely gone. The other one, they have one left in one version. Like two left in the other. And then a couple more of the third. Now that was last night. So, and I've been praising that knife all over the place. So, I like this guy up here. Uh, So yeah, go pick up one of them Alpines for 65 bucks, S35VN. Um, this knife is comfortable. Uh, it's very sharp, since I cut my fingertip off. Um, it's very thin. Let's see. Boy, this will let's see if I can cut. Of course I can cut like this. Of course I can cut with a big handkerchief wrapped around my middle finger. It's as sharp as shit. I guess I picked the wrong knife to uh take lightly. Guess I shouldn't have been dicking around. Leaving my finger in the way, huh? Knives are sharp, people. Um, we're already gone at 20 minutes. But f for the price these cost, the titanium was like 130 I want to say. 140 Maybe a touch more. But an outstanding deal. Um, 
and I think it's an M390 maybe as well. But these are like half that, and this is definitely... So maybe I will get the titanium one, but this is sweet, um, especially for the money. If you want to get into slip joints, but you don't want to spend more than 100 bucks or whatever, but you don't want to spend 20 either, you know, on like something cheesy and cheap, um, which isn't a bad way to get in, but you're not going to get the full experience until you get something with a little bit more quality. That's what I dabbled in with some like cheap Rough Rider and case knives. Then I got the Bear and I was like, ooh, I do kind of like these. Um, then I got the Ohio River Jack and I was like, oh, I really like these. Um, now, I don't like them as much as like a folder, you know, with a, a lock, but uh, close. It's working its way up in my heart, that's for sure, more than it ever has before. Um, but if you're looking to get in the door um, under the $100 mark and get something with some quality and some usefulness to it, you know, sheep's foot blade with that nice little point, um, you can't go wrong with this uh, QSP Hedgehog. Uh, so if you are interested, they have a couple different versions, head on over to Blue Creek Knives. And pick yourself one up. If you're still here, thanks guys. I appreciate you. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your way out. And leave me a comment down below. Have a safe night and have a good weekend everyone. Catch you on the next one.